Hello, Scorpios in the house, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, because we what? We listening for love, baby. I hope you're doing super fantabulous and everything is going wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Today is August 4th. It's new moon in Leo, baby. We starting off with some fire, babe. We starting off with some fire. So if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Yes, it's Sunday, fun day, and I'm having my mimosas. It's my really cute little glass. Isn't it cute? Anyways, having some little mimosas, having a good time. I want to do these readings, and I'm thinking about going live. Um, so with that being said, let's talk about how these readings are going to go. So we have a general in the oracle, general in love, singles, couples, and then all signs. They will all be time stamped, and we'll move on forward with that. If you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. Yeah. Okay, make sure you hit that like, that share, and subscribe if you haven't already. So if you like tarot, you like to have a good time, you kind of like to know what's going on, this is the place to be, all right? And if you really, really like it, come join me on Instagram. I go live on Tuesdays from 5.30, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. I answer questions. I give away free readings. I would have a wonderful community over there. Come join us, okay? All right, let's get into this. August 4th, new moon in Leo. Today, we wow, we wow, wow, 12 degrees, baby. And you're focused on your talentos, mi amor. You are talented. You're skilled. You're wonderful, okay? And you're amazing. Something that I feel that is very difficult for us because I grew up in a time where they were like, oh, be humble. Don't, you know, don't give yourself your, your pats on your back. Self-talk is very important. And whatever skill it is that you have, Scorpio, just know that it's your skill and nobody can take that from you. You're talented. Focus on that, okay? Focus on that energy. And we have Venus entering into Virgo. Venus and Virgo is paying attention to the details in love and in money, okay? Now, on the 5th, let's get ready. Let's do the damn thing, okay? Get ready. Preparate because back up those files. Check them voicemails. Make sure you know what's going on because we got a Mercury retrograde. Four degrees, Virgo, okay? <laughs> so four is about the foundation and Virgo is paying attention to the details. And during this retrograde, this is a very powerful time. It's in the sign of, well, we're in Leo season. So we're focused on the heart. Mercury is communication. We're really getting things off of our chest. We're reassessing, readdressing, and finding out if we really need to reconnect, okay? On the 14th, Mercury says, F Virgo. I want to go party with Leo. It's going to get spicy. It's going to shimmy chasse all the way over into there. And it's going to be hanging out with Leo for a while. All right. And on the 19th, we have the full moon in Aquarius. Yeah, 27 degrees. This moon wants you to focus on the compassion for yourself, the compassion for others, and really being kind to yourself during this time. It's going to be super, super important. All right. Now. With that being said, my love, this day we have Jupiter square Saturn. What is a square? Square is a challenge. Jupiter is in Gemini, 17 degrees. You don't really like being in Gemini that much because it's originally in Sagittarius. It likes to be its own Sagittarius energy. Gemini is the opposite of it. So it's not very comfortable there. And then we have Saturn in Pisces. It's really not very comfortable in Pisces. So we have some energy here that's saying, look, you want to do big things. You got to follow the rules. You got to make things happen. And your energy wants you to focus on co-creation, okay? Co-creating with something that's completely different. The wisdom, the knowledge, and the action are coming together to walk this tightrope and create whatever it is that you want to have in your life, all right? Now, with that being said, on the 21st, I want you to mark your calendar, okay? It's very important. It's my birthday. <laughs> It's my birthday, August 21st. I'm gonna be turning 44, baby. If you wanna send me a present, you can, boo. You can, you can send me, you can just send me a birthday wish. I'll be very happy. And on the 22nd, call out those Virgos, it's their season, yeah. And on the 28th, Mercury says, let's go direct, 21 degrees, Leo. All right, and on the 29th, Venus enters into Libra to give them a little hookup on their looks, okay? So, here's the part of the read I want you to focus on um, two questions right two questions you have this month yes or no very simple we're going to just see what they are okay I pulled it out just like this with the five of pentacles finances might be a little bit tight you kind of feel left out in the cold however just know it's going to work in your favor so for question number one I have a yes 
with the hangman. It's time to surrender. Get yourself out of the situation. You can move forward. Remember, after the hangman is the death card, we have complete transformation. Set yourself free. For question number two, we have the nine of wands. This is going to be a no. No, they cannot pass go. No, they cannot collect $200. And no, I don't want to see where you're coming from. All right? <laughs> Stay the fuck over there. Okay, we don't need that. We don't need it. We don't need it. We don't need it. So... With that, let's get into your general oracle. The planet that wants to play with you is no other than Venus, baby. Okay, Venus to say, let me come in, let me have a good time. Venus is actually a very beautiful energy, a lot of love, a lot of joy. And then we have also the cat energy coming in for you as your animal. The cat energy is that of you really focused on your self-worth. This is be relaxed and independent and be picky. Okay, can't nobody touch you like that, all right? Can't nobody be with you. You might be having something with a Libra also this this month and this is about you really striking out with your independence okay your rune this month is Jera, okay or Yera. all right this energy is a very beautiful energy um who got it uh, who else got this i think it was Aquarius got this. Okay, so Yera, it represents the year, the harvest, the things that are coming to, to fruition. Your color is light blue, so a lot of throat chakra coming through. The herb is rosemary. That's fidelity. That's protection. That's cleansing and protection, all right? Now, when it comes to love, the seventh house is very important. Partnerships, relationships, moving forward with contracts. But there is a faded meeting coming into play. I also kind of feel that this individual is coming forward. They want, they want something important to happen the the seventh could be very important the 21st could be very important and the fourth so far could be very important so i know you can hear people screaming in the background that's my scorpio screaming in the background having a great time playing fortnite okay <laughs> she's she's my she's my heart <laughs> i'm a scorpio and a leo all right, first card, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. Is it me? Is it me? Because I could be your Leo. I'm no, just playing. Wait, wait, let's see what first is. Spying! Ah, you got a spy. Okay, someone's got their eye on you or you're doing the research, all right? And it's fate, it's karma, you know, something ending, something beginning. And overall energy, we need to move on. We need to make a little move, okay? We're trying to make something happen, Captain. What are we trying to make happen? Let's see. So what's up with this fire sign energy, sun, moon, rising, or Venus, right? We have love. Ooh, is it love that I'm feeling? I don't know. We don't know. Self-love, maybe. <laughs> All right. What's up with the spy? What's up with the spy? A backstabber. Mmm. Heartbreak and pain. They hurt us. And now they're watching us. Okay. Cycles. Oh, I got pulled it out like this. So I have the golden mirror. We have love bombing, self-absorbed, one-sided, but they want to come in for a date. So there could have been a backstabber. They stabbed you in the back, and now they like want a second chance with Mercury retrograde. And they're like, damn it, you look so good. I want to come through with you. So use the cat deck. I just love this deck. Anyways, let's see. What is the general message for these guys? All right, let's see here. We got the fool. Let's start over. Let's take a chance. Let's go for it. Oh, did my nail just break? Oh, it sure did. Oh, that hurt. Y'all, I um, I do a lot of, I work, I have a food pantry at my office or at my school. And like the boxes have really been tearing up my hands, like really bad. Okay, the fool, let's see. What's next? Let's see. The eight of swords. You're not getting caught up. Mm-mm, not getting caught up. You're going to set yourself free. You Stop getting in your own way. Stop it, Scorpio. Stop, stop. Stop getting in your own way, friend. Let's get these too many cards fell out. I did see the Ten of Swords, though, okay? I did see that. That's not okay. Let's see. The Eight of Wands. Okay, the Eighth is going to be important. There's also something about the number 888 coming through for you because of the energy of abundance and possibly the Lion's Gate, okay? It's going to work out. We got justice in the house, okay? And the moon. Okay, this is for whoever was dealing with someone who had a little bit of like some toxic behaviors and stabbed you in the back and they've been watching you live your best life, right? They're like, oh, can we go out on a date? And then when you're out on a date with this individual, you're going to be like, I was in love with you. <laughs> Please, not anymore. 
I'm on to something new. I'm on to new things, better things, brighter things, baby. I ain't got no time for this. So you are really leaving a situation where you felt stuck. Oh, look, and I have the Ace of Pentacles on the ground. So some of us are signing new soul contracts, contracts, period. We're starting over. We're loving ourselves more. We're moving forward in a different direction. This justice in the moon, as I feel like it's just divine justice, okay? You're walking away from it. The eighth is going to be extremely important for you. We have so many eights here in this read. So what I'm kind of seeing over on love is like, you know what? You are learning to love yourself more and more. You are freeing yourself from a cycle from someone who just keeps playing with your quit playing games with my heart. Okay, and you're done. I'm proud of you. Proud of you, Scorp. Proud of you. Beautiful, beautiful energy coming in for you. I absolutely love it. So whether that's a friend, a lover or an a-hole, okay? They're not gonna have access to your energy anymore. So let's see here, Scorpio, what is your energy? For singles, we have Cancer Scorpio Pisces coming in. You know what, what? Someone else, damn it to hell, someone's in the middle. Okay, let's see. And honeymoon, we're gonna leave it and go get what we want. And we have a lot of intimacy coming in. All right, okay, intimacy. All right, Scorpio. I like this for you. Oh my goodness, Scorp. Let's see what we got going on for our beautiful Scorpios. So when it comes to this water sign, Cancer Scorpio Pisces vibe, which could be you or someone else, okay. What do we got here? We, let me shuffle good. There it is. We need time, cycles, we're progressing, we're moving on, we're moving forward. What has someone else got for us? What is this card? Mirror. We're mirroring each other, okay? So someone is trying to get in, but you're trying to look at things differently. You're grounding your energy. You're not going to make the same mistake twice, okay? Honeymoon, you are abundant, babe. Scorp. Are you extra hella sexy? Because everybody wants you, okay? Someone is missing you. They look at your pictures. They want to make new memories with you, okay? And the intimacy is talking about healing hearts. So you could have been like through a situation that really broke your heart, made you feel like, oh my goodness, no one's ever going to love me. Who wouldn't love a Scorpio? I mean, y'all are like hella sexy and the best in the bedroom. Anyways, I don't know. You give Virgos a hard run for the money, okay? A little bit of hard run. Hmm. But... Overall, very kind, okay? But you have like an abundance of love coming in for you this month. I like it, okay? So let's see here. Yes! That is the answer. Whatever the fuck you were asking, that's the answer. Sorry, whatever you were asking is the answer. Higher love is coming in for you. You are like opening up. Like you're just like, you know what? I'm enjoying this new energy. It's fresh. It's fun. You had a faded meeting. That faded meeting has made you feel like, oh my God, maybe... Maybe I'm healing. Maybe I'm moving in the right direction. King of Swords crowning the reed. Okay, King of Swords. I see you. And the Two of Cups was looking at me. So let's see here. Queen of Wands. Okay, we might have a fire sign in the house. Okay, and everybody wants a piece of you, boo. Okay, everybody likes the Scorpio. Queen of Pentacles. You got options, friend. You got options. You're also in your very like fiery energy and you're knowing your worth, okay? The double queens is also people talking about you in the office. So immediately, immediately, higher love is coming in for you. Feeling like you're moving up this ladder, moving in a new direction. Things are really feeling good for you. And I feel like in this energy, you also have like, like things are just happening. Like just wonderful things are happening for you. Okay, what does it say? It says, what the hell are you waiting for? Get it done, okay? If you're waiting for a sign, here it is. What else What else do we have for you? F it. Shh, it's about to get real. You need your people around you. Okay, call your crew. I'm going to call my crew. And together we got you, boo. Okay, because ain't nobody going to mess with you. And it's dark and you can't see anything. Get your head out of your booty real quick, okay? and you are loved and you're here for a reason don't mess it up okay 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 let me get all my feelers let's see what's going on here okay so we got this beautiful sun coming in i feel like your heart is open this month you're like okay i'm gonna let this past go no more mean people i'm just gonna love people who love me you made a major decision with the two of wands 
the two of swords to the nine of swords and so for me what this is saying is like look we need to talk about the decisions that we're making because i don't want to feel left out in the cold i don't want to go through this anymore i want to be happy i want a relationship with this higher fence this higher love and this moving up and you're taking control of that situation with the knight of swords you're like look i might there could be an age difference between you guys too because i got the knight then i have the king i have the queen i feel like you're just like look let me take control of the situation let me show you what you're working with okay queen of cups i told you it was you you got all the queens here almost with the sun look i have the queen of cups the sun and the queen of um wands right here you could be feeling a fire sign there's something about um, their chest, whether they're male or female. Like sometimes men have really nice chest to lay on and you can like hear their heartbeat. It's really beautiful. Anyways, you've met a soulmate. You've met a soulmate, Scorpio. This is a beautiful energy. Just go with it. What does the King of Swords want you to know? King of Swords says the tower. You didn't see this coming. Whoa! <laughs> but it was great. Four of Wands, okay? and strength okay so pay attention to the 16th and the fourth let me write that down the fourth is already there the 16th here okay look you were trying to be like the strong or they were like okay we're just gonna have fun it's just a good time but this is someone who keeps coming back for more and it's very strong leo energy coming in the queen of wands wants you to know the hangman they're hanging around the three of cups it's a celebration you could be seeing the number three 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 okay and the four of swords there is a lot of um sexual healing going on like a lot of intimacy a lot of like maybe you thought it was just going to be a physical relationship maybe you thought it was just going to be fun scorpio and all of a sudden you feel like you're connecting but so do they okay but somebody doesn't want to say anything because they think oh everybody wants scorpio or you think everybody wants them right but they want to move forward with you they want to invest three of swords what's going on with that the world to the empress three 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 look there was someone else who's trying to get in the mix okay there is someone else However, this soulmate energy trumps that. It trumps it. And this person becomes like your emperor or empress, okay? Queen of Pentacles, what do you have for us? The Ace of Swords, you're going to go with what's fresh and new. All right, you're like, nope, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. I had to make a choice with the lovers. And I'm going to go with what's fresh and new. And I'm moving on. So, Scorpio, this is the vibe that I'm getting. Someone from the past comes back to offer something, right? Oh, I've changed my mind. You know, I do want to be together. I think we are great together. I might have been indecisive in the past, but I've been broken. I'm more responsible. And you're irreplaceable, okay? I could keep going. This person is going to say all the right things, right? But you've met someone who has very strong energy. There is an age difference. There is this energy of like, and, and it could be just a couple of years, okay? But there's something about like, you thought this was just going to be a good time. It's like fun, but it keeps happening. And what you're noticing is there's a lot of chemistry. It's a lot of chemistry. And this person from the past is like, hey, remember me? And you're like, I'm good. And the people that need to see that will be seeing the number 333 a lot. And that is significant of the energy that wants to come back because they want to just come in and see if they still have that hold on you. And you're like, no, because I know my worth. I know my worth. I know what I'm about. And I'm not going to deal with this. Meanwhile, the double sun, baby, you are like on fire. Like there is... Ain't nobody can hold you back, boo. The sun and the hierophant. So for me, you will be in a relationship, um, a very strong partnership. It was a faded meeting. It was just meant to happen. Um, you have this, this beautiful card right here. You could have met them randomly in some building on your way to work. And you're just and someone else really wants to come in and break up this little happy honeymoon that you have with this individual. Because it's just like you're really feeling this person and they're Scorpio. They're really feeling you, okay? So don't let don't let the past get in the way and mess things up. So, person from the past that wants to come back, what's up? 
I'm trying to move on. They're trying, but then they feel like they missed the opportunity with you and they want to tell you the truth. Okay, that's that Mercury retrograde energy, but they always sabotage the connection with you. And what would they tell you? Okay, let's see. What do they want to tell you? Let's see. I don't know how to handle my emotions right now. Okay, I want to hold you. I want to kiss you. I'm sorry I couldn't be what you needed to be me to be. I want a future with you. I can't go another day without you. And I'm ready to take my mask off. So this person is like going to lay it all out on the table. You've you've met someone. You're in a good place. You think you're you're just like, "Whoa, I don't know." So remember, it's free will, guys. Like everybody has a different story, but this person wants to come back in your life and you've already moved forward. Like you've moved forward, you met somebody who you really enjoy spending time with, the intimacy is good, the sex is good, and you're happy. And usually anytime we get back with somebody during a Mercury retrograde, that's usually, it usually ends once it goes direct. And I want to say July 21st could have been very important to you. Okay, so with that, let's see who's this new person. We have the cross, long arms, long legs, Capricorn energy. This person also has like great posture. I mean, Libra energy, great posture. They have like bedroom eyes. They always look sleepy. Oh, sorry, my nose was itching. We have the stars. This person is beautiful, okay? Great skin. They could have a birthmark on their face. All right, some kind of um, some kind of markings on them, and their eyes are amazing. Pisces energy here. Something about their skin. Okay, all these cards are falling out. Listen. All right, let's see. Then we have the anchor. They're very curvy. They're very sexy, sturdy energy. Um, tan colored eyes, Capricorn. Okay. Then we got Gemini, Eon, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Anyways, they got nice legs. They're athletic. They're new. They're fresh and they're young. Okay. This person could wear glasses or contacts. Gemini energy. Let's get clues. Who is, I don't want to break my beautiful cup, hold on. Who is this sexy, sexy pursuer of Scorpio? There's something about the age 36. All right, they got a pure heart for you. They also eat very clean. No number, okay, 26, 36. There's like a 10 year age gap for some of y'all. And then I have El Yoga. They're very flexible. They like to work out. Um, there's something about a tattoo. I also get sailor energy. I don't know what that means. But anyways, they could be into web design. They could also be great communicators. And you met your like hot and fiery summery energy here, okay? Very fiery energy. All right, let's see. Let's get some initials. Let's see what initials come out for you. We got J for Janice or Jack. We got N for Nigel or Nora. We got A for Ari. Is it me? Ew. Y for Yanira. And I for Isaac, okay, or Inez. Then the word J comes out. J comes out. And... Any and yin and yang. This person is your soulmate. You met a soulmate. Now, remember, soulmates aren't always easy relationships, but they're here to help us grow and develop. Okay, very beautiful energy coming in for you. Now it's time for our beautiful couples. Let's look at our couples. What's up, Scorpio couples? What do we got going on? Scorpio couples. Gold digger. I ain't saying she a gold digger. But she ain't messing with no broke people, okay? Mm-hmm. Okay. Challenges. Make a decision. And no. It's not the right time. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. So what's up with this gold digger? This isn't for everybody, okay? What's up with the gold digger? What's up with this? Separation, sadness, missing you, missing that money, baby. Challenges. 
So we're doing a lot of self-reflecting right now. We're working on ourselves. We're trying to make sure we're okay. And stopping the pattern is just like, no, it's just not the right time to go back to something, okay? Someone who's giving you the silent treatment and start talking more, okay? We need to talk about things. We need to develop more of a relationship. So let's see what your person is thinking. What is Scorpio's partner's story this month? Oh, the Seven of Cups with the Nine of Cups. They're not sure what they want to promise to you. They're not sure what they want to say. This is a very emotional individual, someone who is not sure where this is going. What are they thinking about? Trying it again. Like, hey, did it work out the first time, Scorp? But I'm sure we can make it work this time. Okay. And Eight of Pentacles. They see you as always working. Scorpio, I think they like what you do for a living. They also see you as a hard worker and they know you'll take care of them. This person is acting like they're healed and they're better. There's a lot of promises coming in this relationship. What comes between you is the Three of Cups, a celebration. And then we have the Fool. Overall, Queen of Wands vibe. Okay, so let's break this down. Let's see what we got going on here. And I have the King of Pentacles over here. So what I'm kind of seeing in this situation is I see somebody who does not know how to work with their promises, doesn't know what they're really doing, not sure if they can meet up to the expectations of what you're thinking they have. Eight of Swords, they're stuck. Like they, those bad habits with the devil in the background and the Seven of Cups, like they're stuck in their old ways. They have a lot of boundaries with you. There's something about a move. But they see a future with you. What is the fool about? Let's take a trip. Let's go for it. Let's go. Let's go. They also like your chukas, okay? Nine of wands. What I see is a lot of physical touch. A lot of like... Let's, let's get back to where we used to be, but let's not talk about what we, where we messed up. And you're like, I'm ready to talk about it. <laughs> I want to talk about it, okay? But you feel very, like, alone. You feel separated from the situation. You feel like you overgave. And you feel like your money is acting funny, okay? Like, you're like, no, I don't think I like this. And then we have the star coming through with the eight of cups. This person, okay... This is the vibe I'm getting. So this is a relationship where we have a lot of off and on again energy. And this is not for everybody. But this individual who comes in, the 17th is going to be very important, is going to come in and act like they are completely healed. Everything is fine. They're over everything. And they're not. So then you guys go out. You're having a celebration. We're having a good time. And start acting funny. And there's something about a third party. So they're going to cut something off. Or they want you to cut something off. Like, no, look. Like, I don't really want you to be friends with them. Because I don't like this. Or I don't like that. And Scorpio's like, but they've been my friend for years. Like, I can't just cut this person off. Like, I'm not going to. They only want you to themselves. Is the vibe that I'm getting. And they want to talk. They want to talk about things. Let's travel. Let's get out of here. Something has to change. And then what does the Queen of Wands suggest? The Ten of Cups. You're focused on the long-term goals. Um, there's a lot of passion between you guys. And then the Ten of Pentacles. There's also something with work coming in. And then I have the Divine Pair, the King and the Queen of Cups. So... Um, I kind of feel like, look, if you and your partner are going through a hard time, you need to be like the queen of wands. You're just going to kind of just sit there and watch them go through the emotions, you know, look fabulous, let them know how great you are. And you're going to like just go with the flow. There is a lot of nines in this read. When I see a lot of nines in a reading, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Usually that is the end of a relationship. I do see this is a relationship that we keep trying and trying and trying and trying. And this could not be your story. Okay, it's fine. But if there is not any major change in this relationship, I do feel that someone is walking away. Okay? 
It's a very interesting relationship. And this doesn't have to be your story, okay? But for some, this is what their story is. And I feel like your partner feels like they're always trying to make things right with you. Like they're the ones who are always making everything right and you're just not. What does their partner want to say? You deserve better than anyone else. I want to make things right. I'm holding on to the memories of us. So Scorpio, you have someone who's very much stuck in their mindset about like all the things you've been through. I don't, I want to reach out and I don't know how to. So this person could even feel like they're at a distance from you in your own, in your own space. They, and they feel like this is like, why are they caught up in karma? Why are they caught up in karma? What's going on here? And they do look at your social media. They do think you're so beautiful. But I don't think they tell you those things over and over. And I do think that your partner kind of gets very jealous of the things that you do. And like how beautiful you are and how amazing you are. And they see you as like standing out. And they don't know if they measure up. Okay, so there's a little bit of like, am I good enough for Scorpio? So those are conversations that we need to have. So let's get some clues. Let's get some clues of what's what to expect this month. Where did, okay, there it is. Let's see here. What can they expect this month? So we have here, we have the snake. So we have like that third party energy, that challenge coming through to our commitment. There's a challenge to a commitment. Something could have happened on the 25th also. Then we have a masculine energy possibly with green eyes and someone who is very lucky but there's someone who is watching Scorpio there's someone who's watching your luck they're very jealous of it and it could be at a social setting it could be at a, at a gathering they're very jealous of where you're at in life okay so like almost like the gold digger card could just be someone who's jealous about where you're at in your career like how great things are working out for you and they want they want that to work out for them right well they should fucking work on it okay Shalini. but yeah that's the vibe I'm getting so let's get some guidance for you and then we'll go into all signs guidance we have here put a little love in your heart the angel of love the 13th is going to be important you are at a major crossroads this month and it's time for prayer it's time to start touching back into your spiritual side working on your heart chakra is going to be very important for you this month and you're still thinking you're you're like do i really want to do this do i the 11th could be important okay and have patience with what you're praying for overall your heart is in it but we just have to like really heal that heart space okay that heart space is a little broken okay it's time for all signs we have what are your lucky days so far as i shuffle the fourth the seventh the eighth 11 13 16 17 21 number 888 and 333 baby because why we're moving on all right and if you're seeing the number 999 a lot this is a very significant sign that there is a major ending coming in for you and as you know when something ends something begins but there's something about really paying attention and processing what's going on so something from the past wants to come back and you are making major decisions to take control, okay? That's dominion. We're going to take control of a situation. I need to eat something. <laughs> okay, let's see here. What do we have? What do we have? And that is it. All right, here you are as the Five of Cups reverse. You're tired of crying. You're tired of dealing with this bullshit. And Aries is like, I'm done fighting. And the solution is we're not moving forward. We're not on the same page. Things are not working out for us. The 11th could be very important for you, okay? Here you are. You feel very betrayed, okay? The Five of Swords, re the Five of Arrows reversed is like something, it could have been worse than what it was. Taurus is ready for something new and exciting. And the solution is a financial decision. And we also have to watch our words this month. The 20th could be important. Here you are focused on all the promises moving forward. Very much hopeful. And Gemini is still trying to see if it's safe. All right. The solution is we've got to make a higher commitment to each other. Okay. And I feel Gemini needs to stop playing the field. Okay. Okay. Solution is the 19th or lucky day. Here we are communicating effectively and cancer is standing on business, okay? They're also very balanced and patient with us 
and we are going to move forward in this relationship, all right? The eighth could be important. You're not sure about a situation with the two of swords. You really feel betrayed. And Leo is like, look, we got to take control of this situation. But there was a major betrayal or there is no more love in this. We're trying to control each other. The 20th could be important. Scorpio, you are not wanting to put your quarter in that slot machine, okay? And Virgo said, don't worry about it because it wasn't fair anyways. And nobody wants to change. So you could be seeing the number 111. The 12th could be important. You are finding your balance. You're making major changes. You're moving forward. And Libra is like so ready for you not to talk to anybody else but them. And they're like, leave all those people in the past and just focus on me. Uh, the first was important. Here you are with the seven of wands. You're facing your fears. You're moving forward. And the other Scorpio is ready to have your baby. They want to birth this relationship with you. And you haven't fully decided on how you want to move forward. The 17th could be important. You feel like you're being emotionally manipulated. And Sagittarius feels betrayed with the three of swords. But there is a lot of love between you guys. And we need to have a conversation. The 10th could be important. You're a hot fire, baby. Okay, it's Scorpio, 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 and Scorpio. Who is the hottest of them all? Okay, you, baby, the king of wands. And Capricorn is healing. They're healing. They're moving forward. But there's not a lot of love. I do feel like there's a lot of passion, but not a lot of love. The 11th could be important. Here you are making prayers, staying focused, and Aquarius is having financial issues, doesn't feel like this is complete, and you there's no equal give and take. Lucky day is the 11th. What's going on with this prayer? Pregnancy. Okay, you're hoping to birth something new, something someone in the family is expecting is causing triggers. You don't want to talk. You don't even want to be in this relationship. And Pisces is like reading your damn mind. And they're like, but hey, I'm over here and we're good together. And it's going to take some time to heal. And there's also somebody playing with another person's emotions here. The seventh could be important. So what I have for you, you beautiful, sexy Scorpio. Be sure to hit that like, that share, subscribe, and come hang out with me on Instagram. Take care.